to my YouTube channel. This is a really quick tutorial that I like to call the lazy lady's guide to tightening up your BJD. And it always helps to have a helping hand. So I've got my helping hand here. Um, he's going to be very helpful for this process. But really what you want to do when your BJD, if you look, this is my Nikki Britt Adeline. And if you look, as I just kind of move her, you can see her legs are actually just like super loose. She's just shaking and she's one of my loosest BJDs. And so what a lot of people do when their BJD gets really loose and floppy is they restring it. But if you're like me and you're a lazy lady or you just don't like restringing. So I don't like restringing because as I've said before, and I hate to say it over and over, but I have a lot of issues with my hands as far as numbness and stuff like that. And so I don't particularly love to restring anymore because it causes me some discomfort and it's also difficult for me. So what I like to do instead is do a tightening. So I'm gonna show you guys the lady, lazy lady's guide to tightening. So I'm gonna take her face off and you can see she's got her, um, you've got your ring here where you've got all of your string attached. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take her head entirely off. So I'm gonna pull this up and to the side, which wasn't difficult to do at all because she is so loose. So I'm gonna take her head off and then I'm going to pull her stringing up as tight as I can and you can see there's a couple ways to do this. There's a knot in the string already, or I can just make a new knot. And so this is where it helps to have an extra hand holding the doll while you are able to add an extra knot. Since I don't have an extra hand here because all the extra hands are either filming this or are absolutely useless, I'm going to put her in between my knees to try to do this. And so you'll just wanna pull it as tight as you can and just make an extra knot. So let's see if I'm able to pull this off. So I'm gonna hold her as tightly as possible in between my legs. You can probably see my Hogwarts pajama pants. So I'm business up top and pajamas on the bottom. So I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna hold it as tightly as possible. And then I'm going to attempt to make a knot. And let's see if I'm able to do that. I couldn't, I had a hard time tying an actual knot, so I went and grabbed my hemostats because I'm gonna untie the existing knot and then try to pull it tighter. So I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna pull it up as tight as I can, but you have to be very careful when you're doing this because if you drop the stringing at any rate, you're going to really just kind of ruin your day here. So I want to make sure I have both pieces of string in my hands and don't drop them. So this part's gonna to be tough. So I'm gonna hold the bottom part with one hand and do the other part with the other hand. And I'm gonna untie this with my hemostats because my fingers don't work really well for doing that. I'm just gonna kinda of pull this loose as so, which I've done. And now here's the real test of, of your abilities is not to drop this string. So, and if this is where the extra, another part where the extra hand really comes in handy because you really don't want to drop this. So I'm going to pull it over and around and please don't drop it. All right, got it through. Now, I'm going to pull this as tight as I can. You see me pulling up and tightening, up and tightening, up and tightening, and just kind of work it as tight as you can. And now I'm gonna knot it. All right. So now it's knotted on there. So you can see now how much extra string I've got that I pulled slack out of in here. So that is a lazy, and you can see there's not a lot of slack left. Now I'm not gonna cut these strings. I'm just gonna kind of tuck them back down in here because I don't want to cause myself issues later if I have to untie this or restring it or whatever. But now you can see when I shake, she's still a little kicky, but when I shake her, her legs aren't doing all that 
wavering back and forth. She's not nearly as loose as she was before. I can get her legs to kind of bend and hold. I can get her arms to bend and hold where before she was just super duper floppy. So that is a quick way to tighten up your BJD without having to go through the entire restringing process. Now it does help as I've said like 50 times already to have an extra set of hands on deck to help you do this because if you drop that string you're going to find yourself in a restringing situation because it's going to you're going to lose all the tension in the body and everything's just going to fall apart so it helps to have somebody else to hold the extra string there it helps to have a set of hemostats they're like the best all tool ever because you can unknot those knots or if you've got an extra person holding that little bit of extra string, they can hold that tight for you with these if they can't quite get their fingers around it. So that is just a quick tutorial. That's a, a method that I use to tighten up loose BJDs without having to go through an entire restringing process. It's just easier for me. It serves my purposes. I like it um, because I don't have to redo the whole thing, as I've said and it makes my doll tighter and I can get a few more years of enjoyment out of her before I really have to actually either restring her or take her to somebody else to be restrung because I just don't want to do it. So um, there you go. So I hope this is, and I've actually helped um, a couple people out. We've, we've done these, these little just quick tightenings. You know, because it, 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 you get a lot of, it goes a long way. A quick little tightening like that, you get a lot of mileage out of it. Let me just say it like that. But anyway, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I just realized her string's hanging out her neck, so I'll have to fix that at the end of the video. But thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.